Hey yo, what's up? It's Joe back with a new video and today I will be discussing CloudWatch logs and a custom script that I created to do all the logs from the command line. Let's just do AWS logs. So right now I'm calling the script and the script is going to go ahead and pull back some information as you see down here in the bottom of my screen. So what you see here is some log groups. So the way logs works is when you get your events, your log events, Log events lives inside of streams and streams lives inside of groups. These are the different groups. So now when I come here, I can start typing, and, you know, pick what I want, obviously fake, and then, you know, type or select. And then once I select the one I want, it's going to give me the streams. Right now I'm only showing two streams. I have the stream set to give me a max items of two. And the reason being because I want to show you how I'm going to page between the streams because I don't really have that many streams. Because again, this is just test data that I just added to my um, AWS CloudWatch just to show you how it works. So now I'm going to go ahead and pick a stream. Let's just pick uh, March 14th. And it's going to pull back some information. So now I have um, all of these different events. It's starting at 6 o'clock in the morning on March 13th. It's ending at 8.29 on March 13th. So let's just say I wanted to forward because when you're on the console, you know, when you pull back your events, you can go forward and you can go backwards. We get more events because they do do paging on the console and you're allowed to go forward and backwards. So what I said, okay, well, if that's the case, I want to be able to page on the command line in the script. So I passed the, passed the dash F flag, which means forward. And now, as you can see at the top, it's starting at 8.30 in the morning and it's ending at 10.54. If I run that same command again, it's going to start at 10.55 because it just ended at 10.54 and it's ending now at 1.19. And let's just say I want to go backwards because if you go forward, you can go backwards, right? So let's just see. This is like so cool to me because I really, really like this. Um, so now it's going to end at 10.54 and start at 8.55. If I go back again, it's going to end at 8.54 and start at 6.55 and I can go back again. And let's just say, for instance, I decided that I didn't want to use Fuzzy Finder. I wanted to use D-Menu because now I've given you a choice to use D-Menu or Fuzzy Finder. Right now, those are the only two that I have, but um, I can add more if needed. So if I did that, I can say type and let's just say, or I can actually keep the same thing. So let's say dash B and then type, you're going to say D menu. So it's still going to do the same thing it was doing before, but now it's going to switch to D menu. And I'm still going to go backwards. Well, right now it's meant to show because it's already doing the selection, but let's just take out the backwards. But I want to show you that it's going to use D menu. And now it's going to give me the selections again for D menu. And let's go, let's just say my cool group. I click that, it's going to give me my stream, only have that one stream there, and then it's going to give me my events. Now, in this case, it's starting at 6 o'clock, and this is in UTC time, um, and it's ending at 8.29. So let's do the same thing, and let's say we're going to keep the stream that I just used, and we're going to... Um, do a min of say 223. I forgot actually what time it was there. So let's just go back. Let's go forward. What time did it have? So let's just say March 17th at 8:30. So that's gonna be our let's say that's gonna be our cutoff time. March 17th at 8:30. So if I do stream to keep the stream and then lowercase m for min date. I'm going to say 2023, uh, March 17th, I think it was 8.30. But since we're using, since this isn't, so this the weird part about this is when I pass the time up, is using my local time, which gets converted into UTC time, I guess in AWS. So in that case, I need to use, I think, four hours less than that. So let's just say 4.30. So now my cutoff is... Uh, 8.30 and it's going to pull it up and now as you can see it's starting at 8.30 which you see here and if I go down it's ending at 
Let's do the same thing, but let's cut it off at 1058 so we don't see any 1059s. So let's do something similar to what we did. We're going to keep the same string. This will have the dash S. Let's say 223 March 17th. And what time was it? I just said uh, 1059. So 1059. Again, we're going to pass up our local time. And for me, that's four hours. So let's say 6.59, for four hours be 6.59. Just put a zero in front. And, oh yeah, and I need to do a dash M for max. So that's my max time, and then the lowercase N is my min time. So let's see. So now we're starting at 8.30, and we don't have any of the 10.59. So now you're starting to see how we can, like, you know, get more results. And let's just say I wanted to do a stream prefix. So the way, the way that works is I have a dash P. So there's a dash P flag. And so with that flag, I can say, give me everything that starts with, let just put this in quotes, 2023 March of March. And let's go ahead and do that. And let's just say click data. And as you see, 2023 of March, but let's do March 13th. You only want to do that prefix. So um, let's just cancel that. And let's do 13th right here. So now it should only pull up that stream that matches this prefix. So now if I look at it again, 2023, March 13th. So now if I got that stream, I can click on that stream and get my results. And again, I can forward and go backwards and different things like that. So now let's say that we have this. Let's say we're looking at the logs and we're going to look at, let's say, fake data streams. And right now it's only pulling two. Okay. So the streams also have a pager. So the way I can go to a different stream, I can leave out of that or I can just go through everything at once. And let's just say um, next. And as you can see, now I have a different stream because I only have, I think, like three um, streams for this group. But as you can see, it went to the next. So it's, almost, it's, it's paging the streams as well, and you do that with a dash in. So now if I go in here, I can actually see my results again, and I can forward and go backwards and all of that stuff. And so let's say, just so you can see, I have a VARS file, and this VARS file basically basically is your settings. So I have a menu type, I have a log group name. This kind of shows you the log group name that you chose last. This shows you the stream name that you um, chose last. This shows you the next fork token, the next backwards token, and different things like that. So this is actually all of the code, but I'm going to go through the code because I'm going to split this up into a different video. But these are all of my options. So as you can see, we had a, a min time, a max time, the menu type for T, the string prefix, which is a well, string prefix, um, the next token, which basically says go to the next string, page to the next string. You have a backwards, you have a forward, and we have a group name and we have a stream name. So all of that information, and just so you can see how the group name works. Let me just do that again. So if I do AWS underscore logs, let's just say I pick um, this group, CLI log tutorial. And let's say I pick 319. So right now it has a March 17th and March 19th. So if I quit that, and if I want to save my group, I do dash G, it's going to pull back up the same group. And then I have my results here. So with different options, it gives you a lot of flexibility to be able to pull in the information that you want. And on the next video, I'm going to actually discuss how the commands work. I'm going to do a couple of commands calling like the, using the AWS CLI, like actually calling back so you can kind of see what comes back when I call it manually. And I'm also going to let you see how the script works again, going line by line. So again, this code is going to be available on my GitHub. Please feel free to use it. And if you're liking this video, don't forget to like or subscribe and drop down in the comments. And I'll try to respond to you as soon as I can. And with that being said, hope you have a great day. Peace out.